Mm, okay, e ETA 15 minutes, fantastic. Oh, going into a tunnel. No, 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 ah! Howdy everybody, I'm David Geisler, this is the Technophiles Newscast, and DARPA wants to make their own version of GPS. Have you ever been using GPS in your car for directions and you go into a tunnel and it basically doesn't know where it is? This has been a problem for the U.S. government for a long time, apparently. So the U.S. government is interested in trying to make a more reliable positioning system. The folks over at DARPA, which is owned by Google and part of the U.S. Department of Defense, think they have an idea. GPS works pretty well for consumers and our day-to-day -day activities, but we all know that if we go inside a tunnel or underwater or something like that, it breaks down. In fact, there's actually parts of the world where GPS isn't even available or blocked. DARPA is proposing a technology they're calling ASPN. It stands for All Source and Positioning Navigation. So like I said, DARPA is planning on using a little bit of GPS, but when it does get spotty, they're thinking that they'll be using things like cell phone towers, TV towers, radio towers. They're even thinking about a system that might use lightning. In addition to that, these new receivers would also have the ability to know where they're moving on their own. What I mean is they're not triangulating off other sensors. They're considering putting in accelerometers, compasses, gyroscopes. So when these sensors do, for example, maybe lose a GPS signal, they can know where they were and extrapolate their X, Ys, and Zs using these other things. I should point out that actually, you know, DARPA is usually five to 10 years before something they make actually becomes a product. And we all know it's gonna be obviously used for military first, but hey, 10 years from now, you'll actually know where you're going when you're driving into that tunnel, I guess, huh? Anyway, that's the video for today. I, you know, I'm actually curious about this. How do you guys think they're gonna be using lightning to help position? I don't know if it's maybe electricity through the air or I mean, maybe sound waves. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below or you can tweet us at Technophiles Pod or go to our actual website, technophilespodcast.com. Remember, you can always tune into our actual podcast, Technophiles Podcast, by searching Technophiles on iTunes and Stitcher. And uh, that's pretty much it. I want to point out real quick, we're actually going to go on spring break here for about a week or so. So um, I think we're coming back with V in a few. Have a great spring break and we'll, we'll see you then. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to check out some of our other videos right here. Remember, you can subscribe to us right down there. In the meantime, I'm going geocaching. <clears throat> Let's see, location... 15 steps to the off stage. Oh, nope, nope, wrong, had it wrong, back on stage. Ah, oh, my GPS, it keeps cutting out. I'm in deep foliage. If only there was a lightning storm. <laughs>